Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Parag Jambulkar. In last video, we have seen how to communicate from parent component to child component or how to pass message from parent component to child component. In this video, we will see how to communicate from child component to parent component or how to pass message from child component to parent component. So see, here we have shown this diagram. This is our child component, right? So it is shown by small rectangle and this bigger rectangle shows parent component. The component which contains another component is called as parent component and component which is part of another component is called as child component. In this video, we will see how to pass message from child component to parent component. And for that purpose, we have to use custom event. We have to generate custom event. So in this video, we will see how to pass message from child component to parent component by using custom event. So see, I have opened Visual Studio Code. We will create one component. I am giving name child component 5. Okay. And we will use default directory. Okay. Now see. So we have these three files, right? HTML, JavaScript, and meta.xml file. Okay. Now see in HTML file, see, we will add lightning card like this. We will take input from user. So for that purpose, we will use lightning input tag like this. Now see, here we will add label. For example, enter name something like this now see if someone enters data into this text field so see we will call one function so see on chain if contained in this text field is get changed so we will call one function so see in curly bracket handle chain like this right okay so see what we have done here we are adding one text field label should be enter name and if someone enters data into the text field, so this function will be called handle change. Now see, we will add one button. So for that purpose, we will use lightning button tag like this. Okay. Label we will give, for example, click here. Click here like this. And see, if user click on this button, then we will call one function. So see, on click is equal to and in curly bracket, we have to mention function name. So handle click something like this. Now see, we will define handle change and handle click functions in JavaScript file. Okay, so I have saved this code. Okay, now see in JavaScript file, here we will write code. So see, I am taking one property. Okay, now see, handle change. So we will define this function. This function accept one parameter event. Okay. Now see, if user enters any value into text field, then that value we have to assign to name, right? So see, this dot name is equal to event dot target dot value. So see, event dot target dot value, it will give value in the text field and that value we are assigning to name property. Okay, now see, we will define another function, handle click. Now see, this function will accept one parameter event like this. Now see, we are passing message from child component to parent component, right? And it is possible by using custom event class. So see, for that purpose, what we have to do, we are creating one object. So see, search event is equal to and we will call constructor of custom event class. So see, new custom event like this. Now see, to the constructor of custom event, we have to pass two parameters. One is name of event and another is detail property. So see, in single code, we will give name to the event. So see, suppose get search event, something like this. Get search event. This is the name of event. And second parameter is a detail property. So see, detail property. To this detail property, we are assigning this dot name. So see, 
second parameter is detail property and to this detail we have to pass this name property right we have to assign this name value right and we have to enclose it in curly bracket like this so see here we are passing two parameters one is name of event and then this detail property and to this detail property we are assigning this name value right so see this is child component and what we are doing from the child component we are passing message to the parent component right so how we are passing so see this name value we want to pass to parent component so we are passing it by using custom event right so see this name property we are passing through the constructor of custom event now see we have to call one more function this dot dispatch event dispatch event and to this dispatch event function we have to pass this search event Now see, to this name property, we are allocating some value and from where we are allocating value, value that is entered in text field, that value we are assigning to this name, right? Now see, by using custom event, we are passing this name value, name property value to the parent component. For that purpose, we are using constructor of custom event class, right? We are passing two parameters, name of the event and detail property and to this detail property we are allocating value of name property then we have to call one more function that is dispatch event and to this dispatch event we have to pass this variable so whatever the variable or object that we have created that variable or object here we have to pass we have to pass to the dispatch event method or function so see we have written code in html file that is we have added one text field and one button in javascript file we have written code that is we have written handle change function and handle click function now see in meta.xml file no need to make it true we no need to add value true for is exposed tag why because we want to embed this child component into parent component right anyhow this component will be part of parent component right and because of that no need to make it true okay now see so child component we have created now we will create parent component so see create lighting web component we will give some name parent component 5 something like this okay default directory okay now see again here we have three files html javascript and meta.xml file okay so in html file so see lightning card okay now see here we have to embed child component right we have to embed child component so for that purpose we will use kebab case so see see because it is child component dash child dash component 5 right our component name now see we are creating event in child component and from the child component we are passing event to parent component right so see from the child component we are creating event and we are passing some value right now see we have to respond to this event in parent component right so for that purpose we have to use this name name of event so what is the name of event get search event this is the name that we have given right okay now see in parent component in html file here we have embedded child component right now see how to respond to that event so see on see we have to write on and after that we have to paste name of the event so see what we have done here we have to use on we have to write on and after that we have to paste name of event right so on get search event what was the name of event get search event right and here in parent component html file where we have embedded this child component so there we have to pass one attribute there we have to write one attribute on get search event right now see is equal to so what we will do to respond this event we will call one function so see we will give some name suppose we are calling one function handle event right so see in parent component to respond this event we are calling one function that is handle event right okay now see we will write code for the handle event function so see in javascript file we will write code so see 
we will create one property something like this okay now see we will write code for handle event function again this function will accept one parameter that is event like this now see to this name property so see name property we will access like this right this dot name so this name property we have to assign value which we received from the child component right and from where we will get so see that value we have assigned to detail property right here you can see this value we have assigned to detail property so see in child component whatever the value that we want to pass to parent component so that value we have assigned to detail property right so see this value we have to retrieve in parent component right so see event dot detail like this so see in this detail property we have the value that is passed from the child component right and this value we are assigning to name property of parent component right so this is parent component right so we are assigning detail property value to this name property of parent component okay now see in parent component we got value from the child component and we have saved it in this name property right this is the name property of parent component now see in html file what we will do we will print that value that we received from the child component right so see here we will add one more lightning card okay now see so here we will print value so see name is equal to and where we got the value so see here in javascript file in parent component javascript file so value that we received from the child component we have saved in name property right so see that name property here we will mention in curly bracket we will mention right so see we got value from the child component in this name property and that we are printing on the screen now see we want to embed child component into parent component right and that's why in meta.xml file of child component we have kept it false only because we don't want to show child component we are embedding it into parent component right so see in parent component what we have to do we have to make it true because we want to show this parent component right so see we are making it true now targets we have to add so target we will add suppose uh, we'll make lightning app page app page we will add this component on app page okay now see we will deploy child component and parent component so first we have to deploy child component okay it is done now we will embed parent component deploy source to org okay now see so i have logged in in self for developer org i have opened sales app this is our page lightning app page right lwc project one so here we will add our parent component so see we have to click on gear icon edit page scroll down so here you can see parent component five right so we will drag and drop like this right okay now we will save it we will click on back button so see this is the text field which is created by lightning dash input tag and this is the button which is created by lightning dash button tag right okay now see so suppose here i am writing parag jambulkar something like this right now we will click on click here button so here you can see parag jambulkar has come right so see if i change it and if i make it mayur chawan something like this now if i click on click here so here you can see name is equal to mayur chawan right so see this is child component we have embedded this child component into parent component right so whatever it is visible here that is parent component we have embedded this child component into the parent component right in this parent component we have two lightning card this is one lightning card and this is second lightning card right in first lightning card whatever the output that we have it is from the child component right so we have text field in that text field we are entering some value when we click on this button one function that is handle click will be called and in that function we are creating one event and through that event we are passing that value to the parent component right and in parent component we got this value so in this way we can pass value from child component to parent component see in this video what we have done 
we are passing only single value right we are passing single value from child component to parent component right in next video we will see how to pass multiple values from child component to parent component here we have passed only one value right here is only one text field but suppose there are multiple text field so how to pass multiple values from child component to parent component so that we will see in next video i will provide this program code in my udemy course if you are not joined my udemy course please join it and also provide five star rating okay so we will meet in next video thank you